One of the biggest stories of the second quarter, and it may continue to be a huge story in the second half of the year. A little social network you may have heard of went public and didn't exactly do well. Facebook, Lee, I can only imagine you weren't one of the people on May 18th <laughs> putting in an order at Fidelity or E-Trade trying to get that thing at 38. No, I wasn't. In fact, I think people got what they deserved. I think it was the IPO was too big, and Wall Street got screwed, whereas... Mark Z and the Funky Bunch out in Silicon Valley, they got a great price to sell a chunk of their firm. And so I think the real story about Facebook is not how the IPO is blown up, but it's how Wall Street analysts now are going to descend on this and try to put lipstick on the pig. Josh, Facebook, what do you think? I mean, obviously the stock has rebounded from its lows. I mean, it got as low as almost 25. It's gotten back to the mid-30s. Does Facebook still look overvalued in your mind? The whole sector is overvalued. Facebook is the most overvalued because it's considered the best positioned. The, the overvalue, undervalue is nonsense. This is a momentum name. And the problem with momentum stocks is when the magic spell wears off, then you actually have to look at things like valuation. Mm -hmm. And then it's kind of not so pretty um, you know, when you have to pay attention to that. But you can go through long periods of time where no one pays attention housing market is a great example. Yep. The first internet bubble is a great example. And you never really know when it's going to start mattering. Mm -hmm. So that's why I think something like a Facebook, if you have to be in it, mm -hmm. should never be a huge holding because it's trading based on a magic spell right. that could continue for five years or end tomorrow. Yeah, but I think this is a great case where the fundamentals, sometimes when something is officially ridiculous, that has to take pole position. I love working on my spreadsheets. I love working on my quantitative models. But sometimes something just you know talks to you and says, I don't know how I'm going to make money. I don't care what kind of momentum there is. There's plenty of momentum with companies that have revenues. Facebook is one of those things where it doesn't matter what the momentum is happening or not happening. It's just something to avoid. Watch it. I'll go on Facebook right after this and talk about this interview. If you click a like button on a website and you're currently signed into Facebook, you're counted as an active <laughs> user that day. That's a little bit of a stretch especially if you're actually going to try to monetize that. Doesn't or, anybody remember 10 years ago about eyeball views? I mean, this is worse than eyeball price, views, price Josh, to, right? I mean, remember eyeballs, eyeball yes. views are actually, they actually had to upload it and really look at it to get an eyeball. And, right. and what you're saying is that it's even less. Yeah. You know, I, I need to monetize my own eyeballs right now. And thank you very much. <laughs> See you in September, Lee and Josh. We'll hopefully do this again, talk about the fourth quarter.